Uh, in terms of liability, if there's an incident on site, uh, you know, obviously we are, we're fully insured. We have five million pounds public liability insurance. All the third parties are, are covered with a high level of cover there. Uh, we have our ten million pounds worth of employers' liability insurance. You know, so any event of something happening to a guard, which you know none of us want to happen, um, you know, all of our insurances are in place. If we find that the advice that we gave you was wrong, if we said, hey, CCTV is all that you need, um, in our opinion, and then it turns out that that was wrong and, and somebody gets hurt, we have professional indemnity insurance, um, you know, to, to sort of protect against that. You know, so if we inadvertently give bad advice. You know, we're recovered for that. Um, you know, there's, a, there's a level of protection there. Um, if the guards are on site and something happens to them, you know, we have an efficacy cover. Uh, again, we, we, we purposefully put all these protections in place. You know, our, our guys are valuable to us. Um, you know, they are what make the wheels turn in the business. I mean, I'd love nothing more than to sit here and, and, and take loads of credit for, for the guys that are doing all the work on the ground floor, but it's not. It's not, it's not me. It's, it's it's not any of the other man. You know, any other management team in the office that, that that could take credit for that. You know, we're just we're part of a larger system, um, and a large part of the sort of the, the grease in the engine of the machine is the insurance and, and the, the levels of protection that we put in place for that. You know, we talk often about our levels of accountability. Uh, that that's something that we do. We talk about our insurance here. That's another thing that we do. All this is what helps to keep it moving forwards. You know, you need to know. As a client, that you know you're not being stitched up by, you know, a, a, a cowboy firm, if you like. You know, we, we take it all, you know, very seriously. It's all put into place to protect our staff. If we can't protect our staff, then how can we be expected to protect, you know, you as a client? You know, um, I'm going to steal one of Richard Branson's expressions here. You know, train your staff well enough so that they can leave. Treat them well enough that they don't want to. Uh, you know, we, we believe in that, you know, so we do our best to look after our guys and then it's their turn then to look after you. You know, my job's not customer service, that's my that's the staff's job, you know, and and then I you know, ideally what happens is they feel well looked after enough that, you know, they, they then in turn want to pass that forward to the client and then look after the client. So for us it's important that we have a a really nice uh personal touch. It's probably the best way I can describe it. I want everybody to feel personally invested in what they're doing. You know, I want people to care. Um, but you can't expect people to care if you yourself don't care. You kind of have to set the standard. And you really got, you can't just, you know, you have to really raise the bar in terms of how you treat people. You know, you have to sort of be considerate at all times. And you have to look after your staff. That's the only way that, you know, they themselves, you know, what you set as your bar, that's kind of their limit. If you set your bar really low and you think, oh, I've done my bare minimum, I've done my due diligence, the staff, they're not going to be inspired to go any further past that point. You know, so aim high. Aim high and the staff will, you know, will follow suit. If, if, if you achieve high because you're aiming high, the staff will follow high as well. And that's how you get your service. So in the event of something happening on site, you know, they know they're looked after. They know they're cared for. You know, we have a, a number of staff who, prior to joining us, they have uh, some issues. Who doesn't? You know, they have, perhaps they have some some debt concerns. Perhaps, you know, what we do is we, we go that little bit extra to help them resolve their root cause of their problems, so that they can clear those issues, so that they have a happier time working with us. They feel better cared for. They come to work less stressed because, you know, elsewhere in their lives they're getting a resolution. We're a family-run business. Um, you know, I have children. Everybody has children. You know, our office has two shelves filled full of toys. Um, it's a very welcoming space that we, you know, we encourage people, you know, to, to, to bring their kids in and meet us. It just, it's that little bit extra that we do with our staff that then translates into a really high level of service for the clients. Um, you know, they don't want, you know, as a rule, they don't want to leave us. You know, people are generally quite happy to work with us, and you know, I'm re we're really proud of that. Um, it doesn't necessarily translate into the best business model, perhaps, but what we do get we feel outside of that business model as a return, uh, you know, in terms of the loyalty, the trust, um, the, the work ethic that we generate from the staff, we think it's worth it, you know. Uh, and a lot of the time when we get in our reviews, you know, it's, it's not down to us, it's down to the staff. You know, we can't control how much enthusiasm they bring to the table, but what we can do is we can control how much effort we put into them, you know. And, yeah, it is, it is sometimes it's a game of hope, where you, you hope that the effort you put in is going to be, returned back and you know people 
as a ruler, are generally quite good. Pe people like to, to repay your faith in humanity sometimes, we find. Um, there's always going to be the one or two that you might, in any human resources industry, you, there's always going to be one or two that they maybe don't quite fit the bill. But, you know, if they don't fit with the work ethic of the company, they tend to, to move on on their own and they tend not to last very long. So, we, you know, it's a natural filter as much as it is anything else. You know, we use that positively.